I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Random Pulls because we're going to simulate a drawn hand and then try to find categories to play for those tiles. My goal is to have eight discards or less. To me, that's an indicator of a strong start. If you don't know about Siamese Mahjong yet, look for links in the video description below so you can learn how to play. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. Odd will be player one, even will be player two, and I rolled an even, so we're going to be player two. That means we're going to get 27 tiles. Okay, we have jokers, flowers, dragons, single honor, or wind, I should say. One through eight, gap of no seven, but we have a pair. Oh, there's a gap of no three there. So we have a pair of twos. Oh, pair of fives, twos and fives. Here we have one, two, three, pair, four, five, seven, nine, and then dots, three, seven, eight, nine. So our multiples are flowers, Dragons, two, five, three. I would start by discarding this for sure. I would want to try to use all the multiples. This can be a challenge because of where the multiples are. We could play two, four, six, eight with flowers. Two, four, six, eight with flowers and one, three, five. I don't know if we're going to be able to use these. One, three, five. Here's some two, four, six, eight tiles. Odds. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Maybe we could even play the pair hand. Two, four, six, eight, two, four. This could be joker bait for this hand down here. If this is a pair hand, we can use these down here. So joker bait, let's put that down there. Those are discards, joker bait. Okay, now down here. We could do one, three, three, five. That would be using this for the gap of three cracks. We could do one, three, five with Kongs of fives. That would be either one, three, three, five would be the second hand down. One, three, five with Kongs of fives. One, three, five with Kongs of fives would be the fourth hand down. We could also maybe do one, three, five, five, seven, nine, the concealed hand. There are six tiles. Either way, we didn't use these. So we have five discards with joker bait. That fits my goal of having eight discards or less. We wouldn't be able to use all of these though, but we have options. Pair hand, little odds, probably. I think probably one, three, five with fives looks the strongest. One, three, five with Kongs of fives. So this would be for the five dot that is missing. 
I would hold that's why I would hold a plan B because of the gap so I would I would wait we also could maybe play one three five seven nine one suit and use these in here and this could be joker bait I would just hold these joker bait discards let me know what you think about this plan and if you would do something differently right pull one and what you would do with these tiles two four six eight pair hand might as well hold that we've got four discards before we would have to decide we could play either the pair hand or the first hand under two four six eight in which case maybe the joker bait can help I think that's what I would do here yeah I think I would do that maybe even hold this because we could maybe play the one three five pair hand one three five pair hand and use these up here for two four six eight that's a potential too so discard these and hold that for joker bait that's even better I think as far as plan a pair hand plan b two four six eight with flowers plan a pair hand plan b okay let's do one another one Look at all these winds and dragons. We could maybe even play a quint. Flowers, south, eights or nines, or maybe the three and save the eights with the nines for consecutive. That's kind of light north and south with threes that's better we only have one joker that hasn't stopped me from playing a quint but this looks a little healthier north and south with threes would be the fourth hand down you can use any odds we can maybe use that to help okay then the other option i want to use all these dragons How could we use the dragons? A year hand, green and red, seven, eight pair hand. Or a year with dragons. Let's just put these up here for a minute seven eight pair hand we would need help with flowers because we need two pairs here or here and here so let's see if there's something else we could do without flowers maybe north and south with the year as an option so that's better since we have a lack of flowers have a plan B with the winds we wouldn't need both nines so we could do 2019 with dots let's say maybe hold this for joker bait 2019 
north, south, east, and west singles are missing. So that would be plan B. Plan A would be north and south with threes. And then down here, pair hand. Another option would be to play eight, nine, dragon and use this as joker bait. Flowers, eight, nine, dragon. I would start by discarding here. Play, try the pair hand. If that doesn't work, eight, nine, green dragons. That would be fourth hand down, and then up here, north and south with threes if we can get flowers, otherwise north and south with the year. So really we have four, seven, ten. We really have more about like ten discards here, which is a bit long. It's a bit long of a number. I like to have eight or fewer, but We've got options. The discard count is a little high, but we have options. And we have a, a good number of discards so that we can build on plan A's and fall back on plan B's, depending on what happens with the drawing. Let me know what you think about this plan. If you would do something different, write pull two in the comment section below. That's it. Okay, we're player one. Look at all those bams and dots. Pair Norse and a West. We have a couple of jokers, white dragons. So can we do a year hand? Two, zero, one, nine, discards discards. 2019, second hand down under the year. That would use two multiples. Down here, 345, 3567, 34, 35, 35, 19, year, 234, let's see. Three, four, five, three, four, hmm. Yikes. Okay, we could do four, five, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six. Okay, that's better. A little better. That took me a while to figure out. Three, four, five, six. 2019, three, four, five, six, Joker bait. Six discards with Joker bait. I think I would hold the five. If we get six cracks, we could do three, four, five, six, six. That would be the fourth hand down. So I think I would hold this for an option. Sometimes I like to turn my plan B upside down. I think three, four, five, six is stronger. But when we have this many discards, 
that's an indicator that there could be weakness. So having a plan B when you have that many discards can help. Up here, 2019. I think that's pretty good, actually, because we're one away from being set. We can Pung, Kong, Pung. All we need is one more tile in here, right in here, I think, because this is ready to Pung. We need one more tile in here, and this hand will be set. So I think even though we're using the jokers here, that's good. But we could even use these down here and be set. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. So even that hand could be set with these jokers. So I think 3, 4, 5, 6 is a good one. And I think 2019 is a good one too. Joker bait, discards. Let me know what you think about this plan. So this would be pull three. One of the guidelines that I use when I play Siamese Mahjong is to have eight discards or less. Sometimes I may have joker bait in addition to those discards. And that's okay because joker bait is a great strategy. If you wanna know more about playing with joker bait, look for links in the video description below. And if you don't already know, joker bait is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. And the idea is that you hold multiples that you may not need for late in the game, maybe in the middle game or the end of the middle game, and you discard one of those tiles, your opponent would maybe make an exposure with jokers and on your next turn, you could use those tiles to make an exchange to get the jokers. Look for those links in the video description below so that you can see some videos on how joker bait works. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random polls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.